I am Anil Kumar and we will solve a trigonometric equation involving in quadratic form I should say right. So we have uh, the question here as solve for x in the interval 0 to 2 pi cos square x equals to sin square x plus sin x. So since we have sin x and sin square x we could write cos square x in terms of sin right. So we know that uh, cos square x plus sin square x is equal to 1. So from here we can say cos square x is equal to 1 minus sin square x, right? So we can rewrite the given equation as on the left side I replace cos square x by 1 minus sin square x and that is equal to sin square x plus sin x. Now we can take all these terms to the right side. So if I do that, I get 0 equals to 2 sine square x plus sine x minus 1. Now this could be factored. We are looking for product of minus 2 and sum of plus 1. So we could write this expression on the right side as plus 2 sine x minus sine x minus 1. Taking considering these two, we can take 2 sin x common. So we have sin x plus 1 minus sin x plus 1. Now we can take sin x plus 1 common. And we get 2 sin x minus 1. And all this is equal to 0. That really means that we have to solve for two equations from hereafter. One of them is uh, sine x plus 1 equals to 0. And the other one is 2 sine x minus 1 equals to 0. And that gives us sine x equals to half. And this gives us sine x equals to minus 1. So as you can see, there are two possibilities. Right, so these are the two possibilities for getting the factor multiplication to zero. Right, so now let, now let us solve for this and see what are the possible solutions. Now, when is sine x is equal to minus one or half? What kind of solution we are looking for? So, sine graph is basically like this within zero to two pi. So, we are looking for two kinds of solutions here. One is for sin x is minus 1, so minus 1 is at this point, so that is minus 1 point. The other one is at half, so half will be kind of somewhere here, right? So, so these are the solutions we are looking for. So, uh, we can use uh, our special triangles, or we could use a calculator to find the answer. Now, sin x is minus 1 at pi by, so let us see how much is this point. So, this is 0. This is... Uh, pi, pi by 2, right, and this is 3 pi by 2, so at 3 pi by 2, sine x is equals to minus 1, so that is one solution, so we know uh, that is one solution, here x is equals to 3 pi by 2. As far as half is concerned, you can look into the special triangle, uh, the special triangle for you should be 30, 60, 90, right, so, uh, or you can say pi by 3. 90 pi by 6. The sides are 1, 2 and square root of 3. So you're looking for half, that means pi by 6 is your answer. So pi by 6 is kind of here in, in quadrant 1. Positive value of sine is also in quadrant 2, so that one also will give you answer as half. Now we can write down all our solutions. So we have x as equals to minus 1 when it is 3 pi by 2, correct? and it is half at two values one of them is pi by six correct the other one is is the principal angle pi minus pi by six which is five pi by six correct so these are the three solutions correct? so this should be pi minus pi by six which is five pi by six so that is how we can get all the solutions in the interval zero to two pi for the given equation. It's kind of very important to understand how to solve such equations. So the idea here is to write trigonometric equation as a quadratic equation in one variable. And the variable which is possible here is sine, since we have 
sin square and sin x already. So we could always write cos square x and sin square x as we did. Once you factor, you know the possible solutions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.